first of all want to apologize for not visiting you in the police headquarters since our assumption of office seven months ago. In fact, that was due to some administrative gap we experienced in the ministry. And anyway, uh, in any case, it is becoming history. Today is the only time allowed by the Almighty God for us to visit you. Um, I think um, I, I don't want to talk much on why we could not come much earlier than today. God's time is the best, and today's time is the best for us to visit you. So the whole Minister of State, Minister of Police appears, Haji Iman Suleiman, the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Police appears, Dr. Nasir Sani Gurzo, the Inspector General of Police, KOD, PhD, NPM, the Chairman Police Service Commission, I think in Abdesha, who was supposed to be here, retired, the IIG retired, Deputy Inspector General of Police, Assistant Inspector General of Police, Commissioners of Police, other members of the management team of the AIG, distinguished guests. Today is a day of history in the police. The two ministers of police affairs, the minister and the minister of state police affairs, are visiting us. I want to once again warm, warmly welcome you and your entourage to the police sector. We have listened to your messages, and I must say that your messages are quite heartwarming and as well as so lifting to our officers. You can see that the representative of the first PRO being so excited after your message. <laughs> I want to say that um, we thank you for the good message that you have given to us. You have promised us a, long, a number of things, better welfare for the police, commitment to modernizing the police force by ensuring provision of um, state-of-the-art equipment. Your Excellency, we are quite grateful for all these efforts that you are putting together to ensure that um, the police in Nigeria is taking to the next level. I also want to thank you immensely for recognizing our efforts and for the commendation that you have given to the officers of the police force this afternoon. I want to tell you that we are motivated by the message you have given us. I also want to believe that the commendation you have given us is also coming from Mr. President through you. And by extension, this is the commendation. This commendation is from members of the public, the Nigerians. We will be more motivated to serve better when we get commendation. It's not every day that um, people come out to appreciate the police or even acknowledge our efforts. But when we get commendation from ministers, we feel more encouraged. I want to assure you, Your Excellency, that the police will continue to work with you and support all the efforts that you are putting in place to ensure that um, the police gets a better deal in Nigeria. The ministry and the police have had very robust relationship in the past. I want to assure you, Excellency, that we are committed to this robust relationship. We will continue to partner with your ministry and ensure that um, the good of democracy is delivered to members of the public. So, thank you. Um, I'm so excited to be with all of you. Mine is just a few words of applause and encouragement and solidarity. This is, this is um, a familiarization visit of first of many. We're so proud of our officers. The whole country is cheering for the officers. I'm so excited to be in this role because under the president's watch, President Bola Metunubu, the Nigerian police force will be seeing a reform. And that is an exciting thing that would happen to the country. 
because we, ha because we haven't had one in 70 years. To cut the long story short, is to ensure and that and the police officers know that we're with them. We're working day and night with the speed of light to ensure that they get what is due to them so that they can be able to do more for the country. Because once we get policing right, then we have solved over 50% of the problems in this country. And also, to announce that we have discussed with the IG in the spirit of the, of the International Women's Month, I've requested that we have a gender representation at the first management team, and I know that he will do something about it. Thank you very much.